Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this does not work. Let's get open for business. And it looks like the football gods are awake and shining down on us. I'm um, getting ready for our live stream coming up at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys will tune in uh, for our show. Uh, of course, we've got a lot to talk about with Zeke Elliott being there. Um, what's the latest as far as the contract situations with Amari, Zeke, Dak, as well as, uh, you know, will the Cowboys try and sign hmm, a safety out there and things, which is in the news. And, of course, there is... Uh, Randy Gregory applying for reinstatement. Now, I'm going to make a crazy statement here. And this, to me, is going to actually make things more difficult for the Dallas Cowboys. If he's reinstated, that means that's one less roster position that we have open. Make no mistake that the Dallas Cowboys have more talent on this team than we're, of course, going to be able to keep. We have an embarrassment of riches, so to speak. When you think about the moves that the Cowboys made in the offseason, bringing in guys like Christian Covington, uh, Kerry Hader, um, as well as uh, Robert Quinn, you know, you draft a Tristan Hill, you know, and you've got great holdovers like Tyrone Crawford, who, you know, may be suspended. We don't know what that situation is. The NFL is quiet on that front. But, of course, you've got your Demarcus Lawrence. You've got your Malik Collins, who's in a contract year, you know, um, as well as other draft picks. We have an embarrassment of riches on the defensive line. Now, we don't know if Demarcus Lawrence is going to be ready to rock and roll week one or not. You know, he's beginning to work out, and you're seeing him working out on the beach and things. But there's no guarantee that he's going to be ready for full contact by then. And you don't want to have a situation where, you have guys, and like I said, we've got a lot of talent on the offensive line, the defensive line, um, wide receivers, and you're going to look back and you're going to be letting go like a Danny Amendola. And you say, you know, we can only keep so many guys. So when you start thinking about all of these players that we already have, one, do you want to take up that roster spot? for Randy Gregory, who has been in and out of the NFL, um, unless the rules are changing. And two, if he's suspended, here's the caveat here. If he's suspended, you don't have to make a decision on him because he's not taking up a roster spot. That gives you more time to develop and figure out who it is that you really want to keep on that line. And it also gives you more time to evaluate where you are with Tyrone Crawford as well as with Demarcus Lawrence. So it's kind of, it's a great thing. Believe me, you can never have enough great pass rushers. But if you could kind of stash him to the side for a couple of games and hold on to one of these other guys and find out who are the legitimate guys you want to keep, you know, or get past the first wave of people signing other players because it's, you know, roster cutdowns, then it may give you an advantage going down the stretch because we all know you can have great frontline players, but it's a battle of attrition. And you need to be able to have a great rotation of players. You need to be able to have that second wave later in the season to try and make that run. And this is where you kind of wonder, hmm, is it in the best interest for him to be reinstated right now? Well, we don't know if that's going to happen because... Well, basically the next week or so is when they're going to be putting in the paperwork, and we have no idea if the NFL will reinstate him, give him a fine, put him on probation, or what have you uh, just yet. But this is something to think about because, like I said, we do have a lot of talent all over the place, and you're going to have to pick and choose which guys and which positions you deem more valuable than others. But uh, keep in mind, guys, three weeks from now our team will be in Oxnard. They will be practicing. Not a game, not a game now. We're talking about practice. But I can't wait. So, as always, friends, I hope you tune in. 9 o'clock Eastern, we'll be right here uh, having our live stream. And I hope you'll be part of it. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you guys soon.